As Donald Trump's supporters stormed the Capitol, his vice president was rushed to safety. Mike Pence spent four and a half hours sheltering inside the building, but refused to leave the Capitol grounds. When Mike Pence made it clear that he wouldn't give in to Donald Trump's scheme, Donald Trump turned the mob on him, a mob that was chanting, hang Mike Pence, a mob that had built a hangman's gallows just outside the Capitol. The hearing was told Mike Pence was facing relentless attempts from the former president to overturn the election result, culminating in a heated phone call on the morning of January 6, in which Donald Trump allegedly called him a wimp before piling on the pressure in front of a crowd that would later march on the Capitol. Mike Pence is going to have to come through for us. And if he doesn't, that will be a, a sad day for our country. The committee argued the former president latched onto a false theory from lawyer John Eastman that Mike Pence could obstruct the certification process. I assert my Fifth Amendment right against uh, being compelled to be a witness against myself. Despite Mr Eastman conceding in front of Donald Trump that the plan was unlawful, he later asked for a presidential pardon. That declaration of Donald Trump as the next president would have plunged America into what I believe would have been tantamount to a revolution within a constitutional crisis. Donald Trump is maintaining his criticism of this investigation, describing it as one-sided and with hearings that are endless and aimless. But the committee's work isn't over yet. It's vowing to release more evidence against the former president next week. Jade McMillan, ABC News, Washington.